Nobel Prize-winning breakthrough discovery on fasting. Did you know that fasting can trigger a powerful process that helps your cells repair themselves, fight disease, and even live longer? This amazing process, known as autophagy, earned a Nobel Prize. But what exactly is it and how does fasting play a role? Stick around, you're about to discover how this groundbreaking process can transform your health. What is autophagy? Your body constantly replaces cells but not all organs renew at the same rate and some don't replace cells at all. So what happens to the old cells? That's where autophagy comes in. Think of cells as factories that generate waste handled by garbage cans called lysosomes. In 1974, scientist Christian de Duve discovered lysosomes and won a Nobel Prize. He also found a bigger trash can inside cells, the autophagosome, that could consume large portions of a cell. This led to the discovery of autophagy, meaning self-eating in Greek. While the idea might sound unsettling, this process is vital for your health. Building on de Duve's foundational work, Dr. Yoshinori Osumi expanded our understanding of autophagy. In his 2016 Nobel Prize-winning research, he found that starving yeast cells triggered the formation of structures, autophagosome, that ate parts of themselves to survive. Autophagy helps cells survive when food is scarce by breaking down damaged parts and recycling them for energy. His findings confirmed how crucial autophagy is for cellular health. How does autophagy work? Simply put, Autophagy is like a recycling process inside your cells. Your cells have garbage cans, lysosomes, that break down waste materials like damaged parts or harmful bacteria and turn them into useful energy. This allows your cells to stay healthy and function properly. If autophagy didn't work, your cells would fill up with waste, causing problems like inflammation and disease. Fortunately, our cells are pretty good at cleaning up after themselves. What happens if autophagy doesn't work properly? When autophagy doesn't function correctly, things can go wrong. Damaged cells and bacteria begin to build up, and your body struggles to clear out harmful cells like cancerous ones. This can contribute to conditions like Alzheimer's type 2 diabetes, and on the flip side, even cancer, where too much autophagy allows tumor cells to survive. Stress and Autophagy Dr. Osumi's research found that autophagy becomes more active when the body is under stress, like during fasting or calorie restriction. When this happens, your cells break down stored waste and convert it into energy, including harmful bacteria, essentially cleaning up your system while boosting your energy levels. Fasting is a key trigger for autophagy, helping cells live longer, reduce inflammation, and produce more energy. It's your body's way of rebooting itself when it needs it most. How can you trigger autophagy? While autophagy happens naturally in your body, you can speed up the process with a few lifestyle changes. Here are some ways to activate it. Intermittent fasting. When your body runs low on sugar, autophagy is triggered as a survival mechanism. Exercise. Physical activity also induces autophagy, especially in organs involved in metabolism. Calorie restriction. Reducing calorie intake without starving yourself can activate autophagy. But be cautious. Prolonged fasting without proper planning can lead to muscle loss and hormonal imbalances. Always consult your doctor before making significant changes to your diet or fasting routine. Health Benefits of Fasting Fasting offers a wide range of health benefits thanks to autophagy. It helps detoxify your body, increase energy production, and reduce inflammation. As fasting activates autophagy, your cells live longer, fight off harmful bacteria, and create more energy, improving your overall health. Fasting also helps in weight loss by boosting metabolism and regulating blood sugar levels, making it helpful for diabetes management. It supports heart health by balancing cholesterol and lowering blood pressure. Additionally, fasting reduces inflammation, which is linked to many chronic conditions, and may even help prevent diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's and liver issues. Fasting has benefits for brain health too, improving cognitive function and neuroplasticity, which helps your brain stay sharp as you age. Some studies suggest that autophagy can contribute to longevity by keeping your cells healthier for longer. Now let's talk about how you can activate autophagy through fasting. There are several methods, each with its benefits, depending on your goals. Let's go over some popular fasting methods that you might want to try. 1. Intermittent fasting. There are few methods of intermittent fasting. 16-8 method. Fast for 16 hours. Eat during an 8-hour window. 
for example, eat from noon to 8 p.m., then fast until noon the next day. 5-2 Method Eat normally for 5 days, restrict calories to 500-600 on 2 non-consecutive days. Eat Stop Eat Method Fast for 24 hours once or twice a week. Alternate Day Fasting Alternate fasting days, where you consume very few calories, with normal eating days. 2. Time-restricted eating. Limit your daily eating window, such as the 12 12 method, fast for 12 hours, eat for 12 hours. 3. Water fasting. Consume only water for a specific period, longer fasts should be done with medical supervision. 4. Juice fasting. Consume only fresh fruit and vegetable juices. This method is usually done for detoxification, can provide essential vitamins and minerals while still restricting solid food. 5. The Daniel Fast, a plant-based fast lasting 21 days excluding meat, dairy, sugar, caffeine, and processed foods. 6. Prolonged Fasting. Fast for extended periods typically over 48 hours. Always consult a doctor for extended fasting. 7. Dry Fasting. Abstain from both food and water. This is an extreme method and should be approached with caution. 8. Modified Fasting. Fasting Mimicking Diet. Eat small amounts of food low in calories, carbs, and protein while still providing essential nutrients. The idea is to trick the body into thinking it's fasting without the extreme restriction. 9. OMAD, one meal a day. Eat one large meal per day, usually within a one hour fasting for the other 23 hours. Considerations. Before starting any fasting regimen, it's important to consider certain factors. Fasting may not be suitable for individuals with specific health conditions such as diabetes or eating disorders, so it's essential to consult your healthcare provider first. Additionally, staying hydrated is crucial, especially during water or dry fasting, to ensure your body functions properly throughout the process. Takeaway. Autophagy is a game-changer that helps your cells repair and fight disease, and fasting can trigger it to boost energy, reduce inflammation, and promote longevity. With methods like intermittent fasting or mindful calorie restriction, you can harness these benefits for better health. Just remember to consult with a healthcare professional before making big changes. Start slow, stay consistent, and enjoy the benefits of a healthier, longer life. Have you ever tried fasting or intermittent fasting? What's your experience with autophagy? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more health tips and breakthroughs. Thanks for watching and stay healthy.